What does safety look like to you? Or what could safety look like to you? Or what could you imagine safety looking like or feeling like if you're in your body if you never feel safe? This is a question that I have asked people in workshops for a few years now in projects I've been doing. And they have responded with these gestures that I've just shared with you. The project that I'm going to talk about is called Local Autonomy Networks, or AutoNets for short. And that's me and my name. And it's a project that started with wearable electronics. And so wearable electronics are a relatively new kind of electronics that have been developed in about the last 10 years that use new kinds of materials that incorporate conductive uh, elements. So like thread with silver woven into them or fabric with silver woven into it that allows people to sew circuits instead of soldering them in case you're not into having burning metal dripped on your fingers. I mean, or maybe you're into it, but you don't want to do it all the time. And you can sew your circuits if you do wearable electronics. And so I started this project with this idea of wearable electronics, but I w I'm interested in the intersection of technology with the social. And in particular, I'm interested in making art that is useful for me and the communities I live in. So I started this project thinking, how could I spend my time making art, uh, making it so that I might feel safer walking home at night? Or so that the people in the communities I'm a part of might feel safer walking home at night? Uh, and so at the time I was living in the U.S.-Mexico border in San Diego and then in Los Angeles um, where there, uh, I guess there, there's more violence than here in Canada. Um, and so I started doing, uh, making prototypes. And so I made this line of clothes and accessories including a hoodie and a dress and some bracelets that incorporate wireless transmitters in them using the XB wireless transmitter. And these are mesh network transmitters, so that the more people who have these garments, the more people are part of the network and the wider the range. So I started working with other trans women of color, like myself, and uh, having workshops with them to ask um, how, how these devices might be useful for creating safety, or what other technologies might be good for creating safety. Um, and so some of the challenges with wearable electronics are that it's expensive. Um, I started working with an art activist group in Bogota, Colombia to prevent disappearances of students. And they were like, that's cool, you can make a $100 hoodie, but it's not very useful for us. Um, so that's one challenge. Another challenge is not uh, you know, reproducing more devices to make rich people safer who are already rich. So the affordability question is a big deal, but also not providing, creating more things with more circuits. So I think the really exciting potentials in wearable electronics are the post-digital potentials, the analog potentials of creating circuits and technology that just use fabric uh, and that don't rely on digital components like these. And those are things I'm working towards is uh, telepathy. Thank you. <laughs>